G'day, I'm Durham Pruitt from Fonterra. I'm Milk Quality Manager in Northern Victoria and in July and August 2016 we've had tremendous problems with Bacto grades in milk coming into our factory. Today we want to have a look at some of the successful ways that farmers have been combating these Bacto grades. We're going to go through the dairy and have a look at some of the things that one should look at there and then we're going to go out up the laneways and in the paddock and talk about things that might be happening there. Bactos can come from within the plant and they can come in on the cow's teats. So that's why we're doing those two areas. We're in the standoff area on the side of the feed pad. Because this was a wet winter, this farmer elected to keep the cows off the paddock and on this feed pad 24 hours a day. It worked successfully because the paddocks were worse than this area until the worst of the winter came when it collapsed and the cows were then bringing in enormous loads of mud and had to stop. The farm that we've been on making this video did a particularly good job at attempting to keep mud off cows' teats. I'd just like to introduce Liam Tyrrell, who's the farm manager here, to discuss what he did that did work when things got really bad. Thanks, Darren. Um, despite our efforts of trying to keep the laneways, paddocks, feed pad clean and tidy, uh, we found that washing every teeth on the cow and uh, wiping them after uh, helped it. Uh, it helped our back door uh, big time, actually. Yeah. Liam talked about the success he had with washing and drying the cows with paper towel at each milking. Now that requires the use of a different paper towel for each cow, otherwise we're transferring mastitis bugs from one cow to another. It's a problem. It does require a lot of extra work and usually requires the employment of an extra person, but farmers who've done it tell me that it has worked and they are pleased they spent that money for that period of time. 